Hello, welcome back. Today, bit of a special one. Um, this was a shoe I wasn't expecting to buy. This was released in the EU and overseas, um, so it wasn't available here in the UK. And right away, the box itself is extremely different from the regular Puma All Pro Nitros. And you can clearly see this is the Chris Brickley edition. And I think this is definitely the pick of the bunch in regards to the mismatch pairs between these and the Gremlin ones. I think because of the black and white colourway, little touch of the lime squeeze green, it just it goes very well, nice and clean, not too in your face. And let's get straight into it. So first of all, the traction is the exact same. This is the icy blue outsole. And on the right shoe, we've got keep going, and the left one, we've got keep growing. So a nice little touch there with the icy blue mid, uh, outsole traction on these is pretty good even on a dusty court seems to be quite tacky solid colourways can't say the same it's a little bit kind of slippy now and then just make sure you've got a towel or something to dry your feet and clean your feet if you're playing the the midsole on these white one is the standard colour this one's been painted black similar to the gremlins pair just watch out any scratches or scuffs might chip away the paint other than that, it's the exact same, Nitro Squared, which is a great foam by the way. If you've not tried it, try it out. It's a nice for impact protection, but still solid enough uh, to give you that stability. And it's just nice and plush feeling in the middle. And then you've got uh, a bit of stability on the outside. Outrigger on these shoes is pretty decent as well. And then combine that with a lateral containment in the straps that go down to the footbed. Very nice touch. The materials that go on the top here are synthetic, same as the back on the heel tab very similar to the current ones and the mesh they've used is kind of like an engineered mesh but they've kind of sub laminated this love yourself print all over the shoe on both uh, both feet moving up the tongue again still padded around the heel area as well no change there but this is where it gets really nice there's a, a puma logo that usually goes on the tongue in these shoes they've actually taken that off and they've put this tab running up the top and it says keep going on both shoes and then Chris Brickley, uh, Brickley's signature and then Love Yourself that goes round the other side of the tongue and I wonder if this is a mistake, I don't know because it says on the two of them keep going but like I said earlier, keep going, keep growing so I don't know if this left shoe is a mistake or they've actually done that intentionally I'm not entirely sure however, this shoe aesthetically is definitely one of the better looking ones out of all the collection going back to what I said in a previous video about the Puma shoes they seem to be regurgitating the same colourways that come out in the same colour palettes so it's quite nice to see something a little bit different this is no different this is a nice mismatch colourway and between these and the Gremlins it's kind of tough to pick but I'd probably pick these ones purely because I wasn't expecting to get these I knew the Gremlins were coming out but I've kind of was looking online for these for a long time and eventually I found a website that was going to ship to the UK so I was quite happy with that. The price I paid was okay, it was not too bad. So, the inside we've got the insoles, it says help yourself by helping others, love yourself, learn by teaching, stay focused. Chris Brickley is a trainer in the NBA circle and he's been coaching, going through private training sessions with numerous NBA stars including LeBron James, Paolo Banquero. So the fact that Puma's reached out to him and actually giving him his own shoe, I think is a great touch. Another example of Puma's finger on the pulse in the basketball world and the community, most importantly, that they're not just keeping the uh, signature shoes to being distributed between the players, they're actually looking at the trainers as well now, which is, which is fantastic. So yeah, uh, I'm, I really like this shoe in general, never mind this colorway, and I thought it was something to to point out it's just slightly different again the lockdown in this shoe I've played a couple of times in these shoes and the lockdown's decent is good however I do feel that the the hit and miss on the traction is a little bit disappointing sometimes and then there's an ever so slight heel slippage and I feel like I need to kind of retie the laces if you go into Foot Locker they were on sale down to £54 the yellow colourway, the grey, the Clyde's Closet colourway and the Gremlins were actually reduced down to £56 I think it was. Uh, they, I think they've went back up to full price but I'm pretty sure they're going to come back down again because Puma is still one of the brands that is not going to get the same attention as what I do with some Nike will which is completely understandable because Puma is still relatively new in the basketball market. But, well, to a certain degree anyway. However, 
these shoes are the the best technology Puma can offer for the price point. It was the same with the Puma Clyde All Pro. So if you see these shoes and you want to kind of stick within your budget but get a lot of bang for your buck, these are the shoes to get. These ones I got off a website called Ernest, they're an Italian company, I'll leave the link down below. And there is plenty of these going about. You should be able to pick them up at a relatively cheap price. I wouldn't pay through the nose for these because I'm not saying they're not worth it, they are a great shoe, but it's still Puma at the end of the day and it's not going to be able to compete with Nike and Adidas prices. So if you hold off, do a wee bit of research, you'll definitely get some at uh, a good price. One thing I've not mentioned uh, in these shoes is the laces. Now you can see in these ones we've got this kind of like a pattern through the lace, which is nice, but one's black, one's mainly white. In the box, I'll show you a picture, you actually get the other ones to match these uh, individual laces, plus you also get the lime squeeze colourway if you want to jazz it up a wee bit. So yeah, this shoe is um, definitely up there with my favourite looking right now. Um, I think it's just a very nicely designed shoe. Both the, sh the chassis of the shoe, shall we say, um, and then the actual colourway design of it as well. Um, I think uh, Puma have done an excellent job with this shoe in general. It's uh, very comfortable to wear, so it's something I wanted to make a point of as well. I don't play basketball at any kind of high level. Um, I coach and I play in my own time whenever I can and due to injury I can't play as much as I'd like to. I read on Reddit that uh, <laughs> there's a lot of people comment about YouTubers going crazy about shoes and stuff so I wanted to make it clear that I have a foot problem and any shoe that I find comfortable or kind of has helped me out some way shape or form I'm going to do a video on and that's why I'm doing this video. I'm not raving about this shoe saying it's a fantastic performer I'm raving about this shoe because it suits me and I think it is a good basketball shoe. Simple as that. So, again, thank you so much for all the subscribers. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you get any questions whatsoever about the shoe, please feel free to leave the question down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And until next time.